we've got here is the electric powered version of the Bramley hydraulic pipe bender for bending heavy wall pipe, water pipe, things like that, as opposed to thin wall tube bending. What we've got here is from this point forward the frame and the formers are the same as the manual unit, all the features, quality of bend, etc., which you can see on our other video on the internet. What we've done is taken a hydraulic and electric unit to power it all, to take the effort out of the hand pumping of a manual machine. Principle behind this, standard hydraulic unit that we make. Up the top is like a sausage type motor, not required to be huge because the principle is that it pumps a little bit of oil a lot of times. In other words, at the optimum revolutions, it pumps a little bit each time, giving you the, uh, the effort behind the bend. First thing to do is to set up the correct formers uh, and the uh, rollers in the correct position on the frame. We're bending a piece of inch and a half pipe so we start with the inch and a half former placed on the end of the ram and then we put the rollers in the correct position for the diameter of the pipe. It's important that you don't have the, uh, the rollers in the incorrect position. You will do damage to a former. Drop the pin in there. and then slide your pipe in onto the former and we can start the bend. Before we commence here, this valve here forms two purposes. One, it's closed so that uh, during transit so that no oil can escape and leak out of it. For operation, open it a little so that air can get into the outer jacket of the ram. If you pull it the whole way out, it actually also serves as a dipstick to make sure you've got sufficient oil. Next other part is what is basically the on-off valve. Screwing it in means that the ram will operate. Opening it means the ram can retract. So we've got that one open, that one closed. There is a variable speed control. Uh, as the size of pipe is smaller, we can increase the speed a little but um, we ideally don't want to go greater than the speed of about number three or four on the dial because we end up at the stage where the motor is working faster than oil can get in underneath the piston. Three, four is an optimum position for most speed, but letting it uh, operate correctly. Just hold the pipe in the former until it comes out onto the rollers and pull the trigger. It's now starting the bend. It's very important that you do not bend past 90 degrees. The machine is designed for a 90 degree bend. What happens, and you'll notice the pipe coming round into the former here, if you take it past 90, you put increased pressure on the corners of the former and you will break the casting. Like the manual unit, these use the Bramley aluminium alloy uh, formers of an elliptical form. And that means that when you put the pipe into it, it doesn't go right to the bottom, it sits just a bit above it. And when the pressure comes on, it forces it into the former. And uh, if you cut through the bent pipe at the end, it'd have an elliptical form. And that minimizes the 
crinkling on the inside of the bend and flattening of the outside of the bend. So we'll complete the bend out here. It's getting to 90 degrees when the pipe is coming around against the end of the former. So we've completed our bend, open the valve up, ram will retract. Take the roller out one side. The pipe does jam a little in the former because of what I said before of the squeeze that goes on the side so that we get a neat bend. Gentle tap and it comes out. The aluminium alloy formers are for two reasons. One is lightweight, the second is that it can uh, withstand the pressures on the side as against cast iron. Now we end up with the uh, the bend, if you come and have a look closer, you'll notice that unlike cheaper units, less substantial units, you don't get the crinkling on the inside, which happens because you've got to shrink the material on the inside, and you don't get the flattening of the outside of the bend. Nice, smooth bend. Bottom line is, all the features, benefits of the very successful Bramley manual pipe bender, but you saw how much effort and time it took to do it with the electric unit on this. It is also possible if you have a Bramley manual unit to purchase the electric hydraulic unit as an optional on its own, and it can very easily be fitted to your existing frame, formers, etc. as a retrofit. So there we have it, the Bramley Electric Hydraulic Pipe Bender.